I want to talk just for a minute about how I've been really enjoying games again this last week, and I'm going to kind of break down the story for you. You see, back in the day, my favorite game genre of all time was MMORPG, and it remains to be my favorite to this day. But that category doesn't really have the same hype around it as it did in like the early 2000s, for instance. I mean, think about this. If you played World of Warcraft back in the day, how many times did you either go to school or to your job and talk about World of Warcraft, like the Burning Crusade with either your coworkers or your classmates, etc. Like it was a integral part of society in terms of like pop culture. World of Warcraft was one of those games that really did break into the very mainstream and became a talking point for almost anyone that was into gaming at all at that point. But the MMORPG category for me always had something that other categories did not. For instance, most recently I've been playing ARPGs, obviously. The rise of this Diablo channel, for instance, really has made me focus more on ARPGs of late. This would make sense. You guys are mostly here to talk about ARPGs or your ARPG enjoyers as well. So in order to create content, I've been going through and looking at all of the different ARPGs, everything from Diablo 4 where we started to Last Epoch to Path of Exile, we have explored and seen what we think about that. But when I'm not live streaming, which I'll be live today, find the link down below, but when I'm not live streaming, I have in this last week, me and the girlfriend have been going back through our favorite genre of all time. We share the same favorite genre of MMORPG. And there's actually a lot of MMOs that I've never experienced. For instance, Final Fantasy XIV, I bought back in the day, but only played it for like 10 minutes. I just didn't get into it. Elder Scrolls Online is another example of a game that I purchased but never played. So during the last week, we started going through these old MMORPGs. And to my surprise, these MMOs are actually every bit as enjoyable as they were back in the day. But the element that ARPGs were missing, that MMOs seem to have had for me, was the social aspect for it, which is part of the reason I think I stopped playing MMOs so much. The MMO genre is sort of a social type of game, and as less people I knew IRL were playing the game, it became less exciting for me. But as I went back and started playing the games again, I realized there's nothing actually fundamentally changed about the MMORPGs. They're the same game that I remember when I left. And because I care less and less about graphics, the more I play graphically intense games and realize what I really care about is a core fundamental good gameplay. Some of these older games, and it doesn't just have to be MMORPGs, for instance, some of these older games are really fun. Like we actually went back and started playing Pokemon Red, talking OG, right? These older games have been more fun for me to play than almost any new game that has been out recently. Even the replayability of older games are astounding. You can pick up a Super Nintendo today, pop in Super Mario World, Super Metroid, etc., and still have a phenomenal time at basically a discount, though Super Nintendo is kind of expensive nowadays if you get a good quality, like a real one. But you can buy like the digital mini one, for instance, and play some of these older games like Star Fox. And these games are, are still fundamentally flawlessly good games, but there's a lot of them that I did not play back in the day, that I, I completely missed out on. And going back and replaying some of these older games is, in my opinion, one of the best things to do when you get bored of modern games. So when I get into a position like I have been this week, where it's like I'm kind of between season launches, I'm feeling like mixing it up a little bit, instead of going to the Steam store like I would normally do and browse through either the 500 new games that are out or the early access or anything, I've been looking back in time and thinking either what are games that I wanted to play as a kid that maybe we couldn't afford to purchase or I just didn't have because of, you know, that it was too violent or something like Doom, for instance. Like what are these other games that I didn't get a chance to experience? And I started picking through some of these or I would pick games that, hey, what are my absolute most favorite games I've ever played? And then started trying to replay them as an adult in it with years of gaming of the newer generation of games and going back and kind of looking at what was it exactly that made me love Super Metroid so much? What was it about Pokemon that made Pokemon stick in my memory? What was it about MMORPGs that just seemed to be my favorite genre I've ever played? And trying to answer those questions for myself and then makes me rediscover like, oh, I liked Pokemon Red because the, the actual design of each of the Pokemon 
were fantastic. And there was a simple game about collecting. It was basically like, almost like a gosha game without having to spend a bunch of money. And it's just, what do I get? What character did I unlock, et cetera? Oh, I liked MMORPG because I actually do like the class-based system and I like having a role and I like dungeons and seeing what drops you get. Like going back and rediscovering why it is that I fell in love with gaming to begin with has actually been kind of an interesting journey over the last week or so. And I think I'm gonna to continue to do this because what I'm finding by going back and replaying some of the older games is it not only makes me realize what I liked about the older games, but what I'll probably like about newer games and helps me align to pick the newer games as they come out knowing what it was that really made me fall in love with gaming to begin with. Because I've been stuck kind of in this cycle of new game comes out, let's see if the new game's good, either get disappointed by it, think it's all right, but it doesn't seem to fundamentally change anything. Okay, next new game, you go to the next game. You get in this cycle of playing every single new game just because it's the new release thing. You go from early access to early access to early access, or you bounce between the seasons of whatever ARPG you're playing if you're an ARPG guy like me. And you kind of almost forget what it was that originally made you love games. So if, you, if you're bored at all, I highly recommend trying to go back through some of your, your greatest of all times for you personally and trying to rediscover that a little bit. So I'll be live now. I'm gonna be playing some games uh, on the live stream today. You're welcome to come by if you want. The link will be down below. I just wanted to share that today. That's about it.